This video is brought to you by Birth Control. Birth Control. Fucking use it. Ouija, Origin of Evil, is the prequel to the 2014 movie Ouija we desperately needed because you fucking idiots still haven't figured out that children are the devil. I don't know how many times a child has to become possessed or act as a vessel for evil for you guys to get it through your thick goddamn skulls. Children are evil. Oh, oh, you don't believe me? Let's take a look at the evidence, shall we? Damien, son of the devil. A child. Michael Myers, murderer. Once a child. Ryan Reynolds' wife. Yeah, you guessed it. Also once a child. Freddy Krueger, uh, uh, no wait, he, he's one of the good guys actually going around trying to end those wastes of human skin. Anyways, this thing, a child, I, th I think, and I could go on and on. Honestly, the evidence is pretty damning. Thankfully, I was never a child. But before I go on, I just want to take a moment and thank my other sponsor, condoms. Condoms are super easy to use and extremely effective in preventing potential vessels for Satan or other demons from being brought into this world. Condoms. Fucking use them. Honestly, I'd have to say this is the best board game film adaptation I have ever seen. <laughs> Move over, Clue. You've just been dethroned. And I think for a lot of us, this film will bring back a, a bit of nostalgia. I know I watched this film and I remembered many a night of playing Ouija. Sacrificing animals, bathing in their blood, and summoning Satan. The screams of my friends as I traded their souls for worldly goods. And I think you should know, if you thought the first film was fancy as all heck, well, I honestly don't know what's wrong with you. But this film was infinitely better. The CGI, which, let's not praise where praise isn't due. The CGI wasn't amazing, but it was still infinitely better than the first film. The acting, and just overall, it was a lot more well thought out. The only negatives of this film, I'd say, is the fact that the ending perhaps didn't line up with the first film, and the fact that I managed to sit in a theater with teenagers that still haven't figured out we don't care what you fucking have to say. But that reminds me, this video is also brought to you by Baseball Bats and Stairs. You know what I'm saying. You know. So should you see this film? Well, I have a few questions for you. Do you dislike jump scares because you're an absolute goddamn pussy? Can you not get enough of seeing Catholics getting what's coming to them? You based your religion off the first recorded zombie outbreak. What did you think was going to happen? Do you have children and now realize far too late the terrible mistake you made? Do you watch them sleep at night and realize that they're not really sleeping? They're just waiting, watching, hoping you show any sign of weakness. Do you wake up in the morning and realize how lucky you are to see another day, allowing those monsters to live in your household? Do you kiss them goodbye in the morning, barely able to contain your revulsion, wondering why you couldn't get a very safe and easy vasectomy from Dr. Stevens' phone number 534-652-9931, website easyvasectomies.com, use coupon code ROARIS for a special discount, then see this film. I give this movie 8 T-Rexes out of 10. I cannot wait for the sequel. Ouija, why didn't I get my tubes tied? I will definitely be buying this movie once it's on DVD and watching it any time I have any emotion towards children that isn't disgust or barely contain rage. Which, let's be honest, never happens. So thank you so much for watching another super serious review. Make sure you take this review as seriously as fucking possible. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and do whatever the fuck you want. I just, I don't give a shit. Live your fucking life. You're gonna be dead anyways.